an AFC West showdown to kick off Week 15 between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. Though LA will be without Rashawn Slater, Austin Eckler's ankle seems good enough for him to play. The Chiefs are trying to make this their seventh win in a row, led by their defense. We asked you guys on social media, who do you guys think is going to win? 61% like the Chiefs, while 39% like the Chargers. We like the Chiefs to win by six. Saturday football returns with the Las Vegas Raiders and the Cleveland Browns. By the time this video was released, the Browns have 14 people on the COVID-19 list. One, who is their head coach, Kevin Stefanski. This might be the break the Raiders need, as they've lost five of their last six and would be in serious danger with another loss. We asked you guys if the Raiders are going to win. When we take a look at the polls, 40% like the Raiders, 60% like the Browns. Keep in mind all the players that are on that COVID-19 list for the Browns. That's why we like the Raiders to win by seven. Later on in the night, the New England Patriots face the Indianapolis Colts. Both teams are well rested coming off a of bye, but the battle we're most interested in is between Jonathan Taylor and the Patriots defense. Can the number one seed stop the best running back in football this season? We asked you guys on Instagram, who's going to win? 64% like the Patriots, 36% like the Colts. We like the Patriots to win by four. Moving on to Sunday, the Dallas Cowboys defend their division lead against the New York Giants. Daniel Jones still has yet to be medically cleared, so expect Mike Lennon with a little bit of Jake Fromm to take snaps. The Cowboys are coming off a big victory against Washington, credited to their defense. Do we think that the Cowboys are going to roll on? You guys believe so. 92% believe that Dallas is going to win. 8% is taking New York. We like the Cowboys to win by 13. The end of a forgettable era. The Jacksonville Jaguars host the Houston Texans. The Jags are hoping this will be a breath of fresh air with Urban Meyer now gone. The Texans dominated the Jaguars in week one, the first time these two teams faced. If we take a look at the polls, you guys believe that Houston will continue to roll on. 62% favored them, while 38% like the Jaguars. We think this is going to be a flip of the switch. The Jaguars rejuvenated without their head coach. They win by 10. Two AFC playoff contenders in the Tennessee Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Titans lead the AFC South, but can't let their guard down with the Colts, with the Colts breathing down their necks. The Steelers have to win and root for some teams to lose for them to make the postseason. Taking a look at the polls, 82% like the Titans to win on the road, 18% like the Steelers. Should be a close one, but we like Tennessee to win by three. The well-rested Miami Dolphins versus the AFC East rival the New York Jets. Miami is coming off their bye week after winning their last five games. The Jets have only won one of their last six games, with one of those losses being a close one against the Miami Dolphins 24-17. Do we think this is going to be close as well? Well, you guys have the Dolphins winning 83%, while 17% like the Jets. We're taking the Dolphins to win by the same margin as their game earlier this season, win by seven. A crucial matchup for the NFC's seventh seed, the Washington football team versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Washington had their winning streak put to a halt last week against the Cowboys, but they currently are their seventh seed sitting at six and seven. The Eagles are also 6-7 and, and hope to have Jalen Hurts return from an ankle injury. This should be a close one and you guys agree. 51% like the Eagles to win, while 49% likes Washington. Washington is going through so many things offensively as far as injuries and COVID-19. That's why we like Philadelphia to win by 9. The Arizona Cardinals versus the Detroit Lions. A loss last week to the Rams cost Arizona the number one seed but they're definitely not out of the running and regaining that spot. The Lions are on the opposite side of the spectrum, with their season getting worse, with TJ Hawkinson having season-ending surgery on his hand. Taking a look at the polls, you don't think this is going to be close. 96% like the Cardinals to win, while only 4% are taking the Lions. We're taking the Cardinals to win by 24. If it weren't for the 7th seed and the playoffs started today, the Buffalo Bills would be out of it. They want to turn their season around against the Carolina Panthers. With the loss, the Bills are still in the playoff picture, but it would make matters even worse. The Panthers just activated Sam Darnold from injury reserve, so we're going to have to wait out the quarterback controversy and see who's going to be the one to help clinch the Panthers an NFC wildcard spot. 
Taking a look at the polls, 90% like the Bills, while only 10% like the Panthers. We like the Bills to win by 17. Two 7-6 seven AFC teams clash, the Cincinnati Bengals and the Denver Broncos. Cincy is coming off a disappointing overtime loss to the 49ers, while the Broncos have momentum on their side with their star running backs keeping them alive in the AFC playoff picture. Looking at the polls, you guys still favor the Bengals to win on the road 76% versus 24% like the Broncos. We'll take the Bengals to win by six. The Atlanta Falcons versus the San Francisco 49ers. It was when the 49ers went to the Super Bowl two years ago that the Falcons pulled off the upset against the Niners in the regular season. As they look for the same result, San Francisco is trying to further themselves away in the playoff race. Taking it to the polls, you don't think it's going to be close. 89% like the 49ers, 11% like the Falcons. Many forget that the Falcons are 6-7, and seven, so we think it's going to be close, but the 49ers eventually prevail by two. The Seattle Seahawks versus the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams had a little bit of a hiccup this season, but have been looking incredible on offense as of late. Same goes for the Seahawks, who are just one game behind in the playoff picture, but they've struggled against the Rams in recent memory. Are those struggles going to continue? You guys believe so. 84% like the Rams to win, 16% like the Seahawks. We like the Rams to win by seven. The ankle injury to Lamar Jackson could be the downfall of the Baltimore Ravens, as they host the best team in our power rankings, the Green Bay Packers. Baltimore's schedule the rest of the season is competitive, and losing Lamar this week could make things even more difficult moving forward. The Packers are doing whatever they can to hold on to the number one seed and clinch the bye. Taking a look at the polls, 73% like the Packers to win, 27% like the Ravens. We like the Packers to win by 11. Sunday Night Football, the New Orleans Saints versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Believe it or not, Tom Brady has never beaten the Saints as a Buccaneer. While the Saints are 3-0 against Brady the last couple years, they know that they can't let their guard down, and they have to be very strategic in their game plan with Taysom Hill and on defense. Taking a look at the polls, even though they're 3-0, you guys still believe that the Saints are going to lose to Tom Brady. Only 9% favoring New Orleans, while 91% like the Bucks. We like the Bucks to win by eight. And finally, Monday Night Football, the Minnesota Vikings versus the Chicago Bears. Both Kirk Cousins and Dalvin Cook are playing well, and if it weren't for some narrow losses, we'd be more confident in the Vikings make the postseason. The Bears, led by Justin Fields, are starting to offensively find their groove with their rookie quarterback. Take a look at the polls, doesn't matter. 18% like the Bears at home, 82% like the Vikings on the road. Give us the Vikings to win by 10.